Hello sports fans and welcome to another episode of the Ocean Star Sports Show. I'm your host, sports reporter Dominic Polio. This episode is a little bittersweet as it is the last one of the high school season. I only have one highlight for you and as you can imagine, it's not exactly a win. It's the Point Borough baseball team in their final game of the season as they hosted Manasquan in the state tournament. Check out how it all went down. The Panthers saw their baseball season come to a close last Thursday after losing to the Manasquan Warriors 8-1 in the quarterfinals round of the state tournament. Burrow was plagued early with some missed throws which lent its hand to Manasquan's first runner. He eventually reached home on an infield grounder to second in the first inning. Fortunately, Burrow answered quickly. Bill Feehan reached base with a deep grounder up the middle. And then it was Mike Falconetti with the sacrifice fly ball that gave Feehan more than enough time to make his way home. The Warriors then took the lead in the third inning with this bases loaded sacrifice fly ball to Frank Graziano in center. The Panthers tried to answer, loading the bases in the bottom of the inning with two outs. But Sebastian Severio could not connect, and the score remained unchanged. The next couple innings were highlighted by strong defense from the Panthers to keep their deficit at only one run. But that all changed in the sixth inning of play. With one out, Burrow tried to save a run, but the ball did not stay in Severio's glove, and Manisquan was up 3-1. A pitching change and bases loaded, Graziano was able to secure the second out on a short grounder. But on the very next pitch, a grounder to the outfield scored two more runs as the throw did not come down in time. Manisquan had the 5-1 lead, but it looked like Burrow could work their way out of it. Unfortunately, it was errors that continued to plague the Panthers. Severio tried for the pickoff at first, but his throw went too high. Then Burrow uncharacteristically proceeded to throw the ball around in the hopes of catching it out, but all three Warriors on base made their way across home plate to take the seven-run lead late in the game. Burrow was then able to close the inning, giving Falconetti a nice stretch at first there. Neither team added more runs, but Burrow came close in their final at bat. With one out, Sam Monaco belted a single and Feehan followed suit. It probably could have gone for more than just a single for Feehan if there had not been such a nice bounce on the ball in the outfield there. Manasquan then secured their next out on a high foul ball that the third baseman handled. The final out of the game was a strikeout and Manasquan goes home with the 8-1 upset win over Point Burrow. Sometimes you try and be a little bit aggressive and things get out of hand and you just can't come back from those mistakes. Tough way to end such a great season for the Point Borough baseball team, but it certainly doesn't take away from it. They went undefeated in B-South and won the B-South division, and that's something they can hang their hats on for futures to come. As I said, I only had one highlight for you guys for this week's show, but there is more sports, yes, believe it, there is more sports still going on, and those are in the actual newspaper. So make sure you pick up today's copy of the Ocean Star. That is June 3rd, 2016. I said it earlier, this is the last episode of the high school sports season for 2015 to 2016. I hope you guys enjoyed checking out these episodes throughout the year each week. And I hope I brought you guys the highlights you wanted to see, and I'm sure some that you weren't really too happy to see. Regardless, I'm still debating whether or not the show will continue through the summer. I have a couple teams that I cover for the newspaper, the Ocean Giants, which is a collegiate baseball team here, the American Legion Baseball over in Point Borough, then you got the Jersey Shore Basketball League. I might just throw videos together and throw them online, but not actually put them formally into the Ocean Star Sports Show get a nice little summer break. That being said, you can still follow me on Twitter because I will be putting together videos that tribute your sports seasons over the course of the fall, winter, and spring. So it'll be one big giant highlight video and I'll put that up on my Twitter page at some point. The newspaper will be rolling through athletes of the season, the games of the season, 
Coach of the Year, Athlete of the Year, female and male. And you guys will be able to see that in the Ocean Star newspaper. So, a big heartfelt thank you to you guys for stopping by and checking out the show. And for those that came by each and every week, more respect to you. I hope you guys enjoyed it. But for now, saying goodbye for the 2015-2016 high school sports season here in Point Pleasant. I'm Dominic Polio, reporting for Star News Group. Hope you guys have a great summer.